every Friday from now till Christmas, I'm going to be doing a DIY. And so today I'm going to show you DIYs with Christmas mason jars. So stay tuned. Christmas is right around the corner. I'm so excited. But I'm, I'm not excited that Thanksgiving's over, but I kind of have been waiting for a little bit because... I like celebrating Christmas, but everyone in my family is like, no Christmas until Thanksgiving's over. So now I'm here, Thanksgiving's over, and it's time to get down to business with all this Christmas stuff. So let's get started. For this snowbird DIY, you will need one mason jar, Mod Podge or Elmer's glue, one paintbrush, iridescent glitter, a hot glue gun, googly eyes, red yarn, pipe cleaners, orange paper, and as an option, silver glitter. Begin by folding the yarn back and forth across itself. The more you do it, the more full the pom-pom will be. Cut a piece of yarn about 3 inches across. Then, tie it around the middle of the bundle. Cut the loops off either side of the bundle, then fluff. Take a mason jar and paint it all the way around with either Mod Podge or Elmer's glue. I decided to use Mod Podge because that's what I had in handy. Cover the whole thing in iridescent glitter. Then, as an option, you can cover it in silver glitter to make it look a little bit more full. Wait for the jar to dry. Then you can hot glue the two pom-poms that you made earlier onto the sides to be like earmuffs. Trim the pom-poms as you'd like because it might start to look a little bit wild. Twist two pipe cleaners together. I decided to use green and white. Measure to make sure it'll fit, and then hot glue it right on. Next, you can stick on googly eyes and a little nose that looks like a beak. Wait for it to dry, and then it becomes a perfect Christmas luminary. For this DIY message jar, you're going to need one mason jar, green, red, black, and white acrylic paint, four paintbrushes, a hot glue gun, and some trim. Paint the whole jar green, leaving a four inch by two inch rectangle blank. Paint the inside of the rectangle red. Then paint the inside of that rectangle black, leaving a little bit of a red border. Hot glue the trim around the outer edge of the red box. Then, use white paint and a thin paintbrush to write whatever holiday message you'd like. On the back of the jar, I painted a Christmas tree and then covered it with red sparkles. You can choose whatever you'd like to do or just not do it at all. For this holly berry Christmas jar, you will need a mason jar, glue, silver glitter, silk or plastic greens and berries, hot glue gun, and jute rope. All I did was paint the jar with Mod Podge and then sprinkle it with silver glitter. Cut the jute rope to your desired length and then tie it in a bow around the jar. I cut berries, greens, and pine cones off of a floral pick. Then I hot glue them together in a cute order that I'd like. After that, I took the little bouquet and I hot glued it to the jar. Then you're finished. For the final Santa Claus jar, you will need a mason jar, red and black acrylic paint, two paintbrushes, hot glue gun, gold glitter, cotton balls, and optionally, little candies. Paint the whole jar red. Then, with a thinner paintbrush, paint a black, thick line all the way around the jar. When you're done, you can put two black dots above the belt to look like buttons. Then, hot glue around the top, stretch out some cotton balls, and put it on top. Then, you can do as many layers as you would desire. I put a hot glue square below the buttons on top of the belt and covered it with gold glitter. I let it dry, then filled it with a bunch of candies. It makes a beautiful gift or a display.
And there you have it, those are your mason jars. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. That was so fun to do. These are four Christmas themed mason jars. And just so you guys know, there's a lot of modifications you can make if you don't have what I used. Also, be sure to watch me every Friday for another DIY until Christmas. And potentially, if you like it, I might do it next year too. So, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.